Right now, on YouTube, there is a huge, huge trend. Some of you guys might not even know about. In the automotive realm, it is literally the most watched type of automotive video. And today, um, I think I just, I wanna give it a shot. I think the era of buying as many Japanese cars or American cars or exotic cars that you can and modifying them and Uber driving them and stuff like that is just coming to an end. And this has proven to be really entertaining to watch. And I think it would be extremely fun to participate in. So I'm, I'm just gonna give it a shot. Not that I'm not gonna keep, not that I'm gonna stop building Japanese cars because I love them, but it's gonna be really fun. So we've been looking for uh, we've been looking for Victoria a project car, and we've been looking for actually one of these cars for a while, and I think this might be like the perfect opportunity to get this for you. I'm excited. Yeah. Which I feel bad because your birthday is next week. Hey, it's fine. We're getting me a car. <laughs> it's fine. I uh, well I'll um I'll we'll, it's I have enough cars. <laughs> it's a little far away. But I, um, it's I, it's definitely worth it for this deal. We'll talk about it in a little bit, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started to drive. I'm kind of nervous. Like I don't really know exactly what to expect. I haven't done anything like this before. But I think that challenging, like stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself, is such an important part of life. And this will definitely be out of our comfort zone. <laughs> I think we're um, I think we're getting here. Oh yeah, that's definitely gotta be it. Here we are, man. I've ooh, I ever since I heard about this place, I've always wanted to come here and check it out. <laughs> I'm actually really stoked. The other day, I was with Chris. We were fixing my Evo, and I was just talking to him about different things I could do for the channel aside from just building the same thing over and over and over. Because it seems like everybody nowadays just builds these Japanese cars, makes them fast, and that's fun. It's cool, but it's just so redundant. He was saying, you know, there's this, there's a channel out there called the Goon Squad. And I was like, I've never heard of them. Surprisingly enough, because they're like one of the biggest channels out there right now. So shout out to you guys. You guys are kind of inspiring me to do something uh, different. So I watched a couple videos from them, and they literally just restore these broken ass cars and it just sounds so fun to me like buying OEM parts making a car from from destroyed to functional so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these cars might buy one and then fix it and then sell it and then just keep on doing it working my way up to get a Hellcat or a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something I don't, I don't know I probably won't ever do that but I'm gonna go in and talk to him and uh, well maybe start a new adventure <laughs> I didn't realize there was such a big process to be done um, in order to actually shop here. I just signed up to be a member or buyer and they said it'd take five minutes and I'm here like ten minutes later. I'm just refreshing my email, trying to get a buyer number so I can walk back there. Alright, I just got it. Um, the car we actually are here to look at today is almost doubled in price since this morning, so hopefully it hasn't go up, hasn't go up too much more, but... Okay, so one problem is they do not, they, for some reason they don't, that's understandable, they don't want cameras in there. Most junkyards don't, so they did say it's okay if I wanted to like take pictures or film with a, with a phone, so I'm gonna film the rest of it on my phone. Sorry about the quality, I really wish I could have this, but um, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Here we go. Oh, dude, hey, babe, look at this. Holy crap, it's a freaking i8 as well. Wow, <coughs> do not fork. Wow, that's insane. I wonder how much this goes, that's amazing. So this place is just basically one big ass lot. Um, there is one car we specifically want to see. We did see there's a Porsche 911 GT3 and 991 out here, so hopefully we can find that. I'd I would love to see that, but right now we're kind of just on the on the prowl for the car that we came here to see. 
Got a Datsun. It doesn't even, that's not a 280. That's, this place is sick. This is like an adult, a car enthusiast zoo. Oh, it is a 280 ZX Turbo. Holy crap. Piece of junk, but wow, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Wow, this is wild. Dude, this is unreal. I love M240s. It's oh, like a, it's almost like an M2. Is it pretty pristine on the inside? Gorgeous. Probably pretty Except perfect. Except for the airbag. I mean, you just need new headlights. That's probably got some pretty nasty frame. That's got definitely got some suspension damage. Needs yeah. a new hood, quarter panels, that kind of stuff. But damn, that's crazy though. A little Dart SXT in my favorite color. Probably the only color I like of that car. Miata. And oh, the Miata. The camber. Deep over there, bro. We out here. Camber gang. Let's get it, bro. I guarantee you, bet money, this kid drifted into a pole. <laughs> you know, so there's a C4 Corvette here that's got literally almost nothing wrong with it. Maybe it might have been, oh, you know what? Sand. It's flooded. I bet you money uh, it's flooded. That makes sense. Yeah, so I bet you you need a new engine, but nothing wrong with it at all. That's a good, that's a good one to keep in mind. Look at this. There's a WRX here, dude. Crazy. It's just a narrow body, but that's yeah. cool. Got a Maserati Ghibli. That's so wild to see like all these super nice cars out here. But we're still having a really hard time finding the car that we came here to see. So we've been looking for this car specifically. No, not this car specifically, but we've been looking to buy this car for Victoria anyways. We were gonna buy one new and then do a bunch of stuff to it. But I was like, you know, it'd be really fun to buy like a restoration car and completely restore it and do as much as we can to it and then build it after we restore it. So I'm hoping to reveal that to you guys today. Um, we're shopping for Victoria's project car, or our project car to work on together. But dude, it's, we're not seeming to find anything. And let me tell you what, this place is cool, but probably some of the worst customer service I have ever had. So we, okay, so it ends tomorrow, so there's no way to see. They're moving the, everything right now for the auction to end. Yeah, but you can still come in tomorrow. Okay, so hey, we got a Jeep for dad. You can come check out this Jeep. Something really funky about, there's actually not a lot of damage here, but maybe it was, again, you know, uh, flood. Oh, there's wet carpet everywhere. Mm. Don't buy cars from Houston right now. Not a solid idea. Anyways, so the auction on this car is over in 22 hours, but there's no way to see it because the car is way the heck back there in the storage part of the yard and you're not allowed to walk back in the storage part of the yard and we got in trouble a little bit ago for going on there but this is like where it's supposed to be right now and it's not here I'll buy a bus. little gt what there's a bus for sale oh, that's actually kind of sick little gt that's not too bad i don't know if I, I would i wouldn't buy an old gt like this unless i was gonna make it like a drift car and put an ls in it i don't want a four six dude honestly though you know how sick it would be to have a full size Big ass bus. I don't actually know what the hell I would do with that. So I'm just gonna walk away But yeah, so this is the stuff that's supposed to end tomorrow and the car That we want is not in here. So that GTR by the way, it's a 2014. It's a premium GTR And it runs and the auction for it right now is three hundred and twenty five dollars So that Might have to be the car we take home. I think the, the way it works is they have these certain set times for these auctions and you can't uh can't do anything till it's over. At least we got to see it. I'm gonna keep my eye on it, that's for sure. But I'm just letting you guys know I'm really, I'm really interested in trying to find something on Copart. I'm gonna keep my eye on it and I think it'll be really fun. But for now, we definitely have our hands full with another project. We have a lot to do to the 1JZ. We gotta make it fast. Oh, bro, look at these rims over here, bro. Look at this sway, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's so sway, bro. Most of these cars literally are, now that I'm looking at them, like a lot of them are just perfect condition. I'm pretty sure almost all these cars came from Houston because they, uh, most all of them have like sand all through the fender well. Most of them have zero damage. But if you look into the seats, there's like water in the seats or something majorly, some, I don't know, but it's, it's really crazy. Oh, this Audi is so sick, dude. That bumper came off. Hey, let's look this one up. This Audi uh, has been completely debadged. Oh yeah, well no, I don't see any water. Oh, and it's freaking hot in here. That's what, that's, that's a little, it's a little messed up. Steering was a little bunky. Oh, it's an auto. It's for girls, dude. 
But this one's got like the mind your business window tent. 11. It runs. There's information. They don't want to tell you none? No. Maybe it's, like it doesn't say maybe it's sold. It's kind of sick. Um, hey, Allstate bike. Somebody had a bad time on this or, or it flooded or something, but got a 1320 vid sticker on it. These things are tight. I kind of want to get it. Look, this bike is cool. That bike is, well, dead. I think this is my new favorite place. But I think we're learning definitely how it works out here and uh, we for sure might have to make a trip back. Oh, full blast AC. So we were in there walking around for about an hour. We waited as long as we could before we just got dehydrated and died. I don't know if they were gonna actually bring out the car. So I will give you guys a hint. For those of you who are actually OGs, um, you'll know. It was brand new, um, well, 2017. It had 2,000 miles on the car and uh, it was one of Victoria's dream cars as I said in the beginning of the video and we're hoping that that was something we were going to be able to get. We're going to keep watching the auction because it looks like a really killer deal and I think it would be such a fun resto project. I don't know. I feel like that would be really fun and that's actually what I'm kind of looking at too. I'm, I'm also trying to still uh, import a car from Japan as well and what I'm trying to do is find something that I can kind of restore and make back to original condition or I don't know. But anyways, that's what we're kind of trying to do. But I guess it's time to head back, keep watching the auction. But yeah, I'm sh you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think the new car is. <laughs> you do that a lot. You'll say something and I'm like, I'll say I just, my answer I'm like, oh crap, I should have filmed that. I'm watching it. That was a lot of fun. If I mean, even if we didn't buy something today. It was an interesting process. That's for sure. It was really cool to just see what the hell the whole Copart thing was about. I have to say, top of the line, worst customer service I've ever had. I'm not usually one to complain about that. But then again, like I don't really think they're there to make you happy. I think they're there to just turn over the crappy cars they have in their lot. So um, it was really fun. I'm gonna still keep looking. Uh, I'm gonna continue to look at stuff that they have. And I just think it would be really fun to have some sort of like revival build, like I keep saying, in the garage. But either way, um, I think it's time we get her or us a project car that we're doing. And I figured Copart might have been a really fun way to do that. But um, regardless, really fun. But I think it's about time that we uh, start working on this baby girl. My exhaust manifold is almost done for that, so we'll have some fun with that. But anyways, what? Yay. Oh. Peace out, boys. Thank you for watching today. Let me know what you guys think about the Copart thing. I'm sorry about the whole cracked lip thing. I can't help it. I was born like that. Uh, my lips suck. Peace out. Be victorious. That was so random. Did you say that earlier or something? No, but I know that. I know it's like yeah, they can see it, and they always they're always like, oh, damn it, you gotta get your disgusting ass lips out of this damn vlog. Like, okay, Jesus made me that way.